CalDB is HESARC's calibration database, and you will need access to those calibration files in order to properly prepare data taken with HESARC missions. Today, I'm going to show you how to gain remote access to CalDB. Howdy folks, my name is Nick and we are going to follow three simple steps which you can find linked in the description down below uh, from this guide with HESARC, but we're going to follow these three simple steps to set up remote access to CalDB with one additional fourth step so that our machine always has access uh, or remote access to CalDB. First, from the guide linked in the description down below, you'll need to download these two files, the caldb.config as well as the aliasconfig.fits. Once you have these downloaded, I recommend moving them to a dedicated caldb directory within your home directory for ease of organization. So now let's open up a terminal window. And we are going to need to type in three commands that are also found in the guide below. We are going to first need to establish the CalDB config, which is just going to be the path to our caldb.config file. And then we are going to need to export that. Next, we're going to need to set the path to our CalDB alias, which will be the path to that alias underscore config.fits file. We will also need to export that. And then last, we are going to need to set an environment variable for CalDB, and that is going to equal this link, which you can copy and paste. Of these three steps, the only one that you can copy and paste directly from the guide linked in the description down below is the third step, which is setting this CalDB environment variable. At this point, you should have remote access to CalDB or the calibration database. You can check this by typing in the command QUZCIF, and if we want to make sure this is working, we can try to retrieve some calibration files for NICER. Now, this is great because we have access to the necessary calibration files to prepare our data. However, this is not necessarily practical because you'll have to repeat typing in these three lines in every terminal window you want to use so what we'll do is we will set up easy access to remote CalDB by establishing it in the bash RC. So we'll type in sudo get it, which is just the text editor I'm using, dot bash RC, and we'll type in my password here quickly. And now the bash RC is open. We're going to go down to the bottom and we'll add in two new lines. I'll comment in uh, remote CalDB so I know that the following lines of code or uh, terminal commands are related to uh, setting up CalDB. You can see I have Hesoft established right before this. And then what I will do is I will just copy the three lines that I put in the terminal window in this script right here. That way, not only will I have easy access to Hesoft, but I'll have easy access to CalDB. Also, do be aware that there are some programs in Hesoft that call QUZCIF. Now we can just type in QUZCIF again. And just like before, it starts up, so everything is working. And that is it, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful and informative, consider leaving a like on this video or sharing it with a colleague or friend. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.